The Lorcana community is nothing but tendy farmers and quick flippers, people looking to make that easy buck. In fact, it's easy to say that nobody, and I mean nobody, is actually playing the latest trading card game. Spoiler alert, if this is your take, I've got more than 100,000 recorded games to prove you wrong. Don't believe me? Let's talk about it. Since I made my very first Disney Lorcana YouTube video, I have heard nothing, and I mean nothing in those comments sections, quite like I've heard, this is nothing but quick flippers, it's a horrible trading card game, and it's just people looking to make a dollar or two before it inevitably crashes to zero. And furthermore, I've heard the same old adage that we've heard about new TCGs time and time again, nobody's actually playing this game. Well. Unfortunately, I have news for everyone out there with that take. The developers of the Pixelborn client, that's right, a completely unsupported by the trading card game company digital client to get the game in the hands of the community, oh gosh, where have we seen this before, is constantly releasing not only user numbers, but numbers reflecting the number of gameplays, the meta breakdown, and how people are using the cards that they are either getting their hands on or waiting to get their hands on. And spoiler alert for those of you that say there are no games of Lorcana being played, and it's just people looking to farm tendies, well guess what? You're wrong. According to the developers of the client, which in fairness I believe is a pretty solid source, there are over 100,000 games played weekly on Pixelborn. As of the recording of this video, the most recent week of data leading up to September 1st was 122,042 games with over 30,000 unique users. That's right, over 30,000 unique users using the client and 23,000 members of just the client's Discord. Now, these numbers are insane and while the game is in an early release standpoint and going through a bit of a hype cycle the fact that these numbers are maintained through the week of september 1st are mind-blowing they are radical any new trading card game would kill for a hundred thousand versions of their game a hundred thousand games to be played in a given week this is insane the reach of Lorcana is extensive and it is showing up here as we browse through the data of people looking to slam cardboard and those that are going to say this is a digital client they're not people actually buying and playing the game that is completely fair but what it is a fair gesture and a fair measure of is the interest in this game and this community. People not only want to get their hands on Elsa's, Mickey's, Goofy's, etc., but they want to play their favorite heroes, put them down on the table, quest for some lore, and play some actions. Like, they want to do this. Heck, we probably won't even want to sing some songs. If you played a game of Disney Lorcana, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you should check it out or check out my box opening video that I did with my wife as she actually sang Disney songs when we opened product. It was hilarious but what this does tell me is that this game is for real this is more than just tendy farmers and flippers and every new trading card game has gone through a cycle where the initial product release went crazy high in value or went crazy low in value and then over time has stabilized somewhere in the middle and i have said ad nauseum that disney lorcana is not a game that on paper trading card game enthusiasts like you and I are going to find much right with. The box isn't sealed, the packs can be wheelable, the first release was so vastly underprinted I feel like I can't get cards. All of these are valid concerns for us ingrained in the trading card game community. In fact, they might be a death sentence for other brand new trading card games, but Disney Lorcana looks to do something different. It goes so wide and reaches an audience that is not only unaware of everything going on, but frankly, just doesn't care. Yes, there are involved enthusiasts and people all in on the game that this is going to be a problem for, but the masses, and I mean the masses, much like we talk about the average Magic the Gathering consumer and the average Magic the Gathering player that don't even go on YouTube and consume content, the average Lorcana 
Lorcana consumer and Lorcana player and Lorcana enthusiast is not only not going to care about this, but they're just going to be excited to, to continue to get their hands on packs and products, build decks, and play the game. Another thing I like is this game seems to be massively casual. I jumped into the Lorcana Discord and the Pixelborn Discord on several nights and just watched people play games and have fun and use the cards that they had and tell stories about either building those decks, those characters they were playing on the board, or their experience with getting their hands on Lorcana from their local game store. The environment that's being created by the gameplay of Lorcana combined with the fact that we have such a wide-reaching IP is just a scenario that I could not have imagined. I knew it was going to go wide, I didn't know it was going to go this wide. And spoiler alert, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe because I have sales data on Lorcana that I'm going to talk about and it is just astonishing. I cannot believe that as of the recording of this video, Disney's Lorcana is is actually outsold Wilds of Eldraine on TCG Player. I did not stutter, I did not misspeak, I mean that. So make sure you subscribe, click that sub button. If you want to support further, check out channel memberships. I actually compared Wilds of Eldraine recently to the other standard sets that have come around, the, around this time. I'll put a link in the comment section and pin at the top if you want to check that out. It's only like five bucks a month, and I appreciate all of your guys' support. But Lorcana is definitely looking to change the game. But I will say this into a microphone every single time, and if you've watched the Lorcana video on this channel or me, on the May the Zuby With You podcast, you can say it with me. These things that are wrong with the game are not great, but they're only not great for people like you and me. For the average consumer, take yourself out of our bubble for a second and look at the people that are buying these cards and playing with this cardboard or logging onto Pixelborn or any stretch of those group of consumers and you will realize they are loving this game. It is going the mile. Can it sustain this growth? Will it continue to see this kind of growth and this kind of interest and this kind of hype? That I'm not sure. It's going to be fun to watch. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And in fact, if you have something negative to say about this, I think I already know, but I still want to hear from you because if your opinions change as the information changes, I think that creates an amazing and fun conversation. This has been so much fun to look into. I have been having a blast with Disney Lorcana. My wife has agreed to finally play our first trading card game. That's right, we are going to jam some cardboard together. I cannot wait. If you like videos like this, you like a look behind the numbers and some different analytical takes on these trading card games, make sure you share this video anywhere you talk about Lorcana or share Lorcana content or have those communications. Share this video, it helps the channel grow, it helps the video grow, and I appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thank you so much for hanging out. Until next time, you all know me. My name is Josh, and I am excited for this one. I gotta tell you, all the negativity and everything, it's all flying around me. I can feel it. I feel the ire of some people on this channel, and I'm just enjoying it. I'm just having some fun, and I hope you find the time to do that as well. All right, I've babbled you off long enough for today. I will see you around. Goodbye. <laughs>